Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a drawing whatever my subscribers tell me to video. I made a community post asking you guys to comment any request you'd like to see me draw in this video and I also wanted to do something a bit Christmassy because it is Christmas at the time I'm filming this so I decided to go with this video idea this week because a lot of your guys' requests were actually Christmas themed. So as you can see I've already done the sketches so in this video I'm just going to be doing the colouring and the line art. The first request that I'm going to be colouring in is Wednesday Adams from the new show Wednesday. I have already drawn her before as you can see here but that was in realism although it doesn't really look exactly like her i think you can tell who it is and um ignore the half written well less than half written wednesday title that i couldn't be bothered to finish so instead of drawing her realistically again i'm going to be drawing her in more of a cartoon chibi-ish kind of style i've watched the show wednesday and it's it's really good i feel like it might be a tiny bit overrated but it's it's really good i'm not trying to say it's bad i'm just saying it got a lot of hype but it's a good show so if you haven't watched it i definitely recommend it i think my favorite characters from the show are probably wednesday and thing and they're the two characters that i'm drawing today because i also had another request that was draw something wednesday related like enid or thing so i just drew thing also i don't know if you noticed but i do have christmas nails in this video so i hope you like them and now i'm just adding the line up for wednesday i really like how she turned out i like how it's sort of a simplified version of my style and i think i captured her personality quite well and now i'm moving on to think and if you haven't watched the show think it's just a hand and his name is think in the reference i used he looked a bit darker than usual because usually he's quite pale and i kept adjusting the colors so i'm not like super happy with them but i think overall he turned out good and also since it's almost new year i'm planning on making a video where i do um a redraw of one of my old drawings from the start of the year because i think it would be interesting to see how much i've improved over the span of 12 months and now i'm moving on to my next request which was to draw a bunny wearing a christmas hat eating cherries which is quite a strange request, but I did ask for random ones because I was kind of going through an art block, so I wanted really specific things to draw so I didn't have to, you know, make them up with myself. So I used a white colouring pencil to add like the fur texture because the blending was kind of splotchy. And I didn't really know how to draw a bunny eating cherries, so I just put like some cherries on the side and I thought you can kind of tell that he's eating because he's sticking his tongue out. Oh, and maybe I should have put like some half-eaten cherries. Oh well, too late now. And you can see I'm going back to thing and just kind of like changing the lighting more so it matches the picture. I swear my Pinterest is going to be like clogged up with like bunny and cat photos now because I feel like I've searched up so many. <laughs> and for the Christmas hat, I'm putting a Santa hat because I know there's other types of Christmas hats, but to be honest, I wasn't really feeling that creative. So Santa hat it is. I like how the shading on like the white bits of the Santa hat turned out because I feel like it looks really fluffy. And now I'm adding the liner and I think it made the bunny look so cute. I really like how it turned out. I was using my thickest pen that I had, but I think it still looks quite thin because the bunny is quite big. Uh, I was using a 0.8 by the way. I don't know what that's measured in, probably millimeters? I don't know. So I'm just adding some finishing touches to the bunny, some more cell shading. And then I'm adding some highlights in the eyes, which I think just brings it all to life. And here I decide to outline Wednesday's lips and use a darker purple for the shading to add more depth. Okay, on to my fourth prompt, which was to draw a cat wearing a tomato hood. To be honest, I didn't really know what they meant by hood because when I searched up on Pinterest, cat wearing hood, um, there weren't that clear results. So I kind of just drew this um tomato hat balaclava kind of thing and i used an orange for the base because i didn't want it looking like um an apple or any other red fruit or vegetable and then i also started working on the pikachu holding a candy cane at the same time at first i thought i made the yellow too dark but i think it was okay at the end because i just used a purple for shading i really like how the shading on the cat cat's fur turned out 
because I feel like it looks really fluffy, which is what I was going for. And I think he looks really cute, like his chubby face in that tomato hood. For the Pikachu, I was basically just copying a photo of it because I mean, there's not that much you can do with the original Pikachu design. And then I just slapped a candy cane on him. <laughs> Gently, of course. I ended up drawing a lot of candy canes for this video or just things that have red and white stripes on them. I think this is the most use my red markers been getting. I'm just adding my line art to the Pikachu, which I think is just bringing it all together. So that's not just one big mass of yellow. And there are definitely a few things that are like slightly off proportion. Like I think the eyes are a bit too close together and they're also a bit small, but I make them bigger later on. But you can definitely tell that it's Pikachu. So that's the main thing. And I'm also adding line art to the cat with the tomato hood and adding the little details like his pink nose and his green eyes. And I definitely got my drawing animals practice in today because I don't usually draw them, but they are a lot of fun to draw. And final few finishing touches, which include going over the highlights for the Pikachu because, um, um, because nothing, I don't know why I said because there. And now it's time to move on to the, uh, one, two, three, six from, sorry, um, Sixth prompt, which is draw a girl inspired by Christmas sweaters. Oh, and as you can see, I forgot to add my protective sheet for the start of this drawing, which is really just like a scrap piece of paper because I don't know where I put the protective sheet that comes with the market. So she wasn't really inspired by Christmas sweaters. She, was she wearing a Christmas sweater? Yes. Um, not exactly inspired, but I think it's fine. So I just went with some cozy Christmas colours for this, some signature Christmas colours. And yeah, there's not much to say about this. Although the markers were sort of like expanding and the inks were kind of like running into each other a tiny bit. So I think that gave the effect of like knitted handmade wool. Handmade wool? No. Knitted handmade sweater, yeah. And for the hair, I was gonna like um, do this like Albany colour and kind of shade it out into a lighter colour but I didn't want to ruin it because I didn't have the exact same shade in a lighter colour no same colour in a lighter shade so I just left it white so it was like a really shiny highlight and I feel like her expression is like a really awkward smile like she's having a picture taken of her or something which I think is really cute I kind of messed up her mouth in some areas so you can see me going back with white gel to try and hide it a bit uh, it's because I made the mistake of adding line art to the lips like I did with the Wednesday, but it didn't really work with her. And now on to my um, seventh prompt, which is probably um, the hardest one and the most random one. And it is, let me get this right, a unicorn with a carrot for a horn buying lemonade from a cat wearing Minnie Mouse ears in the North Pole. Yep, <laughs> it's very weird and out of my comfort zone. But that's what this sort of challenge is all about. So thank you, Izzy Doodles, for this prompt, however strange you might be. For the unicorn, I didn't know how to draw a unicorn, so I just went on Pinterest again, searched for reference, and kind of, well, kind of copied it, but kind of like changed it up a bit. And then obviously I added some lemonade with my unicorn holding a glass of lemonade in one hoof and some money in her other hoof. So it's like she's paying for the glass of lemonade she just bought from the cat wearing Minnie Mouse ears. And then there's the whole, there's the cat's whole setup, which includes a jug of lemonade, some glasses, and a big stack of cash and coin, which I'm, I'm not sure where she earned that all from because I don't suppose there would be that many customers wanting cold lemonade in the North Pole, but you know, I won't question it since I'm the one who drew it. And for the cat, which is my second cat, and the spread and third animal unless you count pikachu as an animal i did a brownish um tannish kind of colored fur just so that there'd sorry <laughs> i'm saying it like that because i said this wrong so many times just so that there'd be some variation between the animals the blending on the cat wasn't that great but it's okay because i think it gives it like a fur texture and then i just added a little mini mouse headband ears thing um, and I'm also adding some details in the background, which include an igloo and a sign that says the North Pole to make it clear that they're in the North Pole. 
but I did the line art for them with a thinner pen so that they wouldn't distract from the foreground. And if you're wondering, I did this, um, the initial sketch in a Prismacolor Colorace pencil, which I think was the colour Carmine Red. I think the cat's face turned out a bit small, which I feel like also happened with the Tomato Hood cat, but um, yeah, I guess that's just something I do with cats now. It's okay though, it's not that big of a deal. The igloo is looking a bit non-igloo-ish. Uh, I think it's the way I drew in the little ice cubes, but it's fine, you can still tell it's an igloo. And I added some little rays of light shining out from the North Pole. Uh, lamppost thing and finally on to my la no second last prompt which is to draw Marinette Dupen Cheng from Miraculous Ladybug I have watched the show I haven't watched the newest season or maybe last two seasons I don't remember where I left off but um, I've watched most of it and um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this show because it's a bit frustrating if you watch the show you'll know that they end with like the same they have the same plot every single episode but like the animation and the character designs are really nice so yeah i would recommend it but not as much as wednesday i feel like you just get hooked and you have to know what's happening even though i have no no clue what's going on like there's so many new characters and stuff i just i just stopped paying attention at one point Anyway, so for this drawing, I tried to draw her in my own style. This is probably one of my least favourite ones on the whole page. I don't know, I just don't really like it. I feel like Marinette just doesn't look good in my style. Or Ladybug, because that's who I drew her as. She has blue hair, so I just shaded that. I thought it'd be harder than it actually was, because I thought I didn't have that many shades of blue, but it actually turned out fine, so yeah. I really like how the highlights on the hair turned out. That's probably my favourite part. And also for Marinette, I added like a thicker outline because I kind of went outside of the way I'd expect the hair to be. So I just kind of touched up that with my black marker. And this one's a quick one. My last prompt is a naughty elf. So I just drew this cute little elf kind of just jumping around the page and I kept it very simple. And here's the final result. I added lots of little Christmas doodles and dots and a nice title because i also had this prompt which was just christmas related stuff so i just sprinkled some of that here and there and i also added descriptions of each drawing so i remember what the prompts were when i come back to this spread in the future also i'm sorry i think i accidentally forgot to include one of the prompts so i'll try and include that if i make a part two of this anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really enjoyed drawing your guys suggestions have a very merry christmas if you're celebrating and bye